baby. All right, so we're taking some corn out to our pigs. I've been feeding them about every day. Um, they're coming in good. We didn't even know we had pigs. But then about a week or two ago, he went out trying to shoot some coyotes. And uh, lo and behold, a bunch of pigs run out. There's a bunch of pigs coming. Yeah, I got him. Bap. Somebody missed, which be Winston. Shot low. Anyway, it wasn't good. So we decided to take the initiative to start baiting. And so yeah, we're gonna try to trap them. We got about 12 to 15 pigs somewhere in there. Uh, we're gonna try to put um, put some of the trap up today. And, yeah, get them used to that. And then yeah, we should catch them in a week or two. So that's the plan. See if it turns out. That's gonna be pretty deep. We want though. Grab that in. There goes our trap. Got the trusty van. Thing will pull it like a piece of cheese. We got it, boys. We got a good start on it for today. That was a lot of work, but I hope we didn't scare them off. Let's see if they come back. to the gate and we're getting it all set up they're coming in pretty good um we'll get on them this is gonna be fun y'all
the day has finally arrived and we are stoked to get in the stand and try to catch these pigs that we've been baiting for a week and a half or two weeks. Uh, we put a lot of effort into building the trap and stuff, so uh, we're just hoping that we can get it done uh, and that we don't spook them off or glitch things up really bad. So, yeah, we, we're, we're going to try to get it done tonight. Um, if there's any on the outside, we're going to try to pick them off with a rifle. Um, yeah, and then with with the pigs, we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook. Yeah, our first one. It's gonna yeah, be it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah. Maybe throw one on the rack tech and see how that turns out. Anyway, we are pumped to get in the stand, and uh, it's about six o'clock right now, a little after six, and they've been coming in a little after eight, so we're about two hours ahead of them, and uh, hopefully we can pull that rope tonight and uh, get a call. So hang with us. Some dummy forgot the trailer, so if we catch these pigs and kill them, I don't know how we're going to take them home. This could be interesting. We might have to pile them on the roof or the, the bed or something. Uh-oh. We're not doing that. Not on my truck. We're a bunch of cows. Hit the gate. <laughs> just snuck out of there because they didn't come in when they normally do so we decided to let it go and uh, wait till another night they're pretty consistent um, but this must have just been one of the nights that they aren't gonna come in till after dark so we just got to be patient and uh, get back on it all right we are headed out for round two 
to try to catch these pigs last time was unsuccessful these pigs are kind of inconsistent sometimes they'll come out earlier in daylight other times they'll come in a little later uh, i think we were just unfortunate the uh, pigs came in right after we left it was too dark to get a good video so we're gonna try it again tonight um, it's been a few days since we tried last time but hopefully tonight they'll come out in good light and we can get a good video and eat them up so that's the plan
got him, baby. Run, run, run. Run. We gotta make sure they're not getting out. We got him, baby. Dude, that was wild. I'm shaking so bad. Oh my goodness. I didn't think we were gonna get them things. Hold it. Whew. That was wild. Oh, I gotta calm down, man. I gotta calm down. Oh wow. We got him, baby. We got him. We got him. I just pulled the gate. I'm walking over here to meet Clayton. They're carrying on. They're getting tired now. We're gonna plink them off. Dude, they're huge. They can jump out over there where it's low. Where? The one was jumping up on the back. Dude, they're huge. Ugh. Okay. Oh my goodness. See if they can jump out, I'm telling you. Hold up. Oh. oh, that was a bad shot. Right here, this close one. Uh, we got him. Oh, here's a boar. I think there's a good many sows. Dude, they're way bigger than I thought. And we got 13. We're never gonna clean all these. Our barbecue is gonna be a good one. Looks like. It looks good, boys. <sighs> That's wild. Dude, it's like after nine. We got a long night. Thirteen of them, boys. I guess we'll go get the track and back it in. Yep. Hi, right, that was successful. It was. We got them on our second hunt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hogs. And they're all about a hundred pounds. We thought they were way smaller, but we got up here and they were beasts. Just creating their own circus in here. Anyway, we took care of them. We had fun. Um, it's a, always a good time in Georgia, man. Target rich environment. We are so blessed to have what we have. And um, yeah, we just thank God for the blessings he's bestowed on us. Anyway, we got a lot of work ahead of us, a long night. We're planning to clean most of these up and uh, make some sausage and stuff like that. So thanks to a couple neighbors that are going to help out butcher and stuff. But we're going to get them loaded up on the trailer and uh, take them back to the house. Good hunt, man. That's what I say. Oh, yeah. Do you want a few longer or what? Or just one big stash? Put the heads up.
kind of settling in. Oh, that's amazing. Watch out. Let me go. <laughs> Put him up there in the top. That looks like that could fall down. <laughs> Is that all of them? That's all. one over there a little better. Turn him around. He looks down. It ain't coming off. Pretty good. Let's go. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We got them loaded up. We're headed to the barn. Let's go. We have a uh... It is late. We're done and we got it packaged up. This one here is boneless meat for sausage to grind. And this one over here is our catching cook for you guys. We're doing a barbecue pig, so we're gonna knock it off. It's like 1.30 in the morning right now. So we'll uh Start the grill up tomorrow. New plan. The pig is too big for the grill, so we're gonna have to cut it in half and just cook a half and we'll freeze the other half. But it should turn out if we uh, cook it right. We have the pig in the grill and it's set on 225. We're going to give it about four hours and then we'll check it again. But from what I was reading, um, it should take about six to eight hours. So we'll check in on it a little bit later, but it's looking good so far. name the meat has been on for eight hours it's about six o'clock my thermometer is reading 167 so let's take a look
So as you can see, it's uh, starting to shrink up off the bone a good bit, but it's only reading uh, two si 167. So I really like to do mine off about 190 or 195. So probably leave it on for another hour or two, see if we can hit that 190 mark. Anyway, it's looking good. All right, it's ready to come off, but well, we're gonna sample it, see what we got. Where's the best meat? Let's cut a hunk off. Yowch, that's hot. Watch out. Watch out, I just cut some short meat off. You gotta cut past the skin, there you go. Oh man, dude, look at that. Juicy. That smells good. The camera ain't focusing. Done. First impressions, fat. Man, that looks good. It smells good. You gotta put some salt on it. I don't have no salt. You bring some salt. It ain't gonna be good unless you put salt. I'm gonna try this outside piece. Put salt. That's pretty good. Two out of ten? No, more than that. <laughs> Salt. I need salt. It's good. 